Make sure you have a good signal and your Wi-Fi is turned on. It's time to update your software. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. As a teacher, I know there's nothing new under the sun and I came across this concept. Check it out. We have a supercomputer and I'm not talking about the newest MacBook Pro or anything like that. I'm talking about what's here right in between our ears. We have a super processor, a super computer, and we need to maintain that computer. If we were comparing our brain to a computer, our brain uses chemicals to transmit information, whereas a computer we know uses electricity. A human brain compared to a computer, woo, makes you think about something like Terminator 2 on Judgment Day and Skynet, right? Now, a computer can beat us when it comes to multitasking. I know many of us feel we have the ability to multitask, but the reality is we're way more effective when we focus on one thing. And what we think we do when we're multitasking is actually splitting up our attention and our effort in different areas, whereas a computer can apply 100% of its efforts all in different directions. The brain, the human brain though, has a higher computational power efficiency. So one up, humans versus computers. Now our brain storage capacity is approximately 1000 terabytes, whereas the average computer is about 256 gigabytes. What's the difference? One terabyte is about 1000 gigabytes. So our brains have the storage capacity of about a thousand terabytes. And remember, one terabyte equals a thousand gigabytes. Now, another benefit to having our human super processor in place is that a computer, it can't use common sense. Humans, we have the ability to apply common sense. We're able to use our instincts. We're able to make decisions based off of experiences in order to reach our desired results also have the ability to think on um, being creative. We have imagination. We're able to apply inspiration. It's us humans that could write a beautiful poem or compose or play music that could invent something that did not exist or improve something that's existing and could create art. There is a distinction between the human brain and a supercomputer, a super processor. But there are a few things that we have in common. Just like a computer gets its updates and its upgrades, we have to do the same thing. We have to maintain our mind. Now, just like a supercomputer, we need to be able to update our software. How can we do that? We need to get into some books whether they're physical books or whether they're electronic books. We need to dedicate on a daily basis some time to read. We could also get an education, learn a trade, also get a certification in an area that's updating our software. We could listen to podcasts. We could enter a mentorship program so we could become the apprentice to someone else. We could also gain additional experience by being open to exposures, be open to new things. Another way to maintain our super computer, to maintain our mind, is to protect our battery or our energy source. We need to get proper sleep. We need a minimum of seven or eight hours of sleep, but not just the amount of sleep. We need to have good quality of sleep. We need to be in that deep sleep prior to midnight. Did you know that every hour of sleep you get before midnight is the equivalent of two hours of sleep? We need to also do a digital detox. Yes, it's good to use calculators and other forms of technology, but don't forget to keep your mind sharp. We also need to clean our hard drive, our storage. We could do that by releasing, releasing our thoughts. Get a journal, write down our thoughts on a daily basis, write down what we want to do. Also write down what have we accomplished, what are things we would like to do, write down some of your thoughts. Processor also needs some time, some reflection time that we step away from all the noise, all the distractions. We also need to exercise and eat a proper diet. So computers, they can outperform us on certain specialized tasks, but they cannot match our general intelligence. 
we need to maintain our mind. We too have a supercomputer, a super processor. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker, and I want you to have an amazing day.